Eyewitness News is covering schools now. Cumberland's new bus routes are getting a big fat F from parents. Stranded students, stops in busy intersections, and overcrowding are some of the complaints they are bringing to the superintendent tonight. From the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Alex Duprato is live outside Cumberland Hill Elementary School. Well, Karen, getting kids to and from the school has been a real challenge since class began last Tuesday, Wednesday actually. Parents blame it on the superintendent, who they say is responsible for the change in bus routes. It's been a bumpy ride to the start of the school year in Cumberland. I don't feel safe putting my daughter on a bus. The school district reduced the number of bus stops this year. Cheryl Burke says it's meant so many kids at one stop, not all could safely fit on the bus in the morning. It's dangerous. It's not safe. There's not enough room on the bus. Kids have attempted to get onto the bus and been sent off the bus that their parents need to bring them to school because there's too many kids. It's not safe. Some bus stops have even been moved to busier roads. And the problem only continues when Cumberland Hill Elementary lets out in the afternoon. I was a nervous wreck because I didn't know if my son was going to be on the bus coming home or not. For Corey Lee, it's meant her second grader has arrived home up to an hour late. The bus doesn't arrive at the school right when school lets out. It's been arriving 20 minutes, 30 minutes late to pick them up at school. So he's sitting at school for an extended amount of time. Eyewitness News did leave two messages for the superintendent today. She hasn't called us back. A meeting on the bus routes is set for tonight for 7.30 at the high school auditorium. We'll be there to cover it for you. We're live in Cumberland tonight with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.